Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Creamy. Mm -hmm. And crunchy with the onions. Oh, it's perfect. It's not overly crowded with too many things. The avocado shines. And that's the money shot. <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. I know we've been doing a lot of videos at amazing restaurants and we still have a few more to share with you. I'm so excited. But today we finally got a chance to take some time and show you one of my favorite recipes to make at home. If you guys remember, I showed you my tomato soup and sandwich and today I'm gonna show you vegetarian tacos. Let's get started. So for tonight's vegetarian tacos, I'm going to show you what we're going to put together here. We have a vegan hot Italian sausage here. Now this has actually a lot of flavor and it is a little bit spicy. I always use this one. And then for the seasoning, I'm just going to use a little bit of salt here. Um, mustard and, it's hard to pronounce, Worcestershire. <laughs> um, surprisingly, these two together just make the taco meat so flavorful. For vegetables, all we're gonna use is half a, of a onion and half of a red pepper. And then the best of all are fresh white corn tortillas. Let's get chopping. <laughs> So just before I was about to chop up my vegetables, Juan surprised us with his amazing chile quiles con huevo. Oh, dos. Divorciados. Yes. <laughs> so he made this all from scratch. You can see the sauce is looking amazing. If you haven't seen the ultimate taco video we did at Juan's place a little while ago, you need to check it out. I'll leave it in the description below because it was that amazing. So uh, Juan's gonna explain to us exactly what this dish is called correctly and how it's pronounced in English here. Take it's it away. It's called huevos divorciados because it has different, different salsas, red and, and green. And that's called divorciados because they're different. Mm -hmm. And, and then the special chili. Yeah. You're gonna love it. Yes. It. <laughs> Thank you. I have never had chilequiles before, but I can tell you this is the authentic one. I'm gonna try to get a little bit of everything on this bite. So I'm going for the green side to start with. Mmm. Mm. Wow. Everybody, I'm gonna try a little bit of this. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. That chili just ups it up. That chili Juan is so good. It adds so much flavor. And then the crispiness of the chips mixed with the eggs and the sauce. Is that a little bit of feta cheese too? Feta cheese, yeah. Feta cheese, sour cream, some raw onion. And wow. Avocado. Oh, and avocado. This just keeps getting better and better. I'm going for the red side. Look at that egg just dripping out. Beautiful. Here we go. I'm going to put a little bit of a crispy chip on there. Oh, that's too big. <laughs> that looks amazing. Mmm. Wow. Wow. That is next level. I gotta have a little bit of this. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. I don't know what's better. The taco or the chilequilas? <laughs> Delicious, guys. You have to check this place out. Juan's house. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Delicious. Let's get back to my tacos now. <laughs> Wow, guys, those chilequiles were insane. We ate them like that. They were so good. Um, so now we're going to go back to my vegetarian taco recipe. Let's start chopping up the onion. Okay, so 
I'm going to actually use the whole onion because I'm going to use about eight of those vegan sausages. And so I'm gonna use the whole thing here. And again, I'm not like a culinary chef here. My, my cutting skills are not the most amazing thing. Okay, I'm gonna bring this in half. And it doesn't have to be super fine, the onions. You can cut them thicker if you need to, or smaller depending on what you like. So I'm gonna be making a bigger batch of vegan taco meat uh, because we're gonna have some friends over and we're gonna be trying several different kinds of tacos. Juan's cooking up tinga de pollo. And what else? Carne asada. Carne asada. So we're gonna have several types of tacos and I cannot wait. Let's finish cutting this onion up. <laughs> I've had to take a couple breaks here because uh, onions are making my eyes cry. I'm sure everybody goes through that. And again, you don't have to make them too small or too big, these onions. Okay. Onions are done. So here we have Juan taking care of the carne asada tacos. So let's watch him cook this up. So we have beef going in here. Beef, and uh, I just wanna marinate it with a little bit of uh, beef seasoning. Nice. Uh, and then I'm gonna put an onion, so it's called onion beef taco, I guess. This mm -hmm. is the traditional, the, my mom used to cook for us, so it's very simple, but they're delicious, mm -hmm. and it's uh, uh, very, very fast to do it. So, and uh, because we haven't gathering with our friends, we're gonna make it, uh, we're making a big bunch, mm -hmm. and also we're having some tinga, tinga de pollo. Wow, yeah. look at how delicious that looks. Chicken, chicken tinga, yeah. Chicken tinga, yeah. looks very moist and soft. soft. Yeah. Saucy. Very saucy, so wow. It's a very simple way, the beef taco is not like, a, we're gonna put it on the barbecue, but uh, they're gonna taste amazing. Yes. And, um, well, so far everything and, Juan makes is amazing. <laughs> and very fast to do it because our friends are gonna be here in half an hour. Yes. So, so we gotta, so we gotta, gotta hurry up. We gotta start my vegetarian tacos along the side of these beef and chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Onions already in a bowl, and I started chopping up my red pepper. Now you can use any type of pepper for this recipe. Um, I just uh, decided to go with red today. I've used green in the past. Um, and again, it doesn't have to be perfectly chopped. <laughs> it's all gonna get sauteed in that pan. So Juan is chopping up the onion for the beef taco. Nice. Steak and cebollao, that was the name that I wanted to say earlier, mm -hmm. and I couldn't say it, so it's uh, steak and cebollao. Yeah. Mm. 
so yeah obviously the onion is gonna get caramelized, caramelized. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's gonna be smaller so that's why we wanna put a little bit more to make it uh, more flavor flavorful nice yeah it's gonna be delicious so while Juan's cooking up his amazing top sirloin beef tacos, I'm letting my pan heat up. I have it at a little bit more than medium. And then here are my vegetables. I have my extra virgin olive oil here and some salt. So I just wanna make sure that that pan gets a little bit hot so when I put the onions in, it's already gonna start to crisp up and caramelize. Okay, so my pan is ready. Put the olive oil in. I shall put a little bit more. And first, I'm going to start with the onions. So that was one full onion, and then one full red pepper. Wow, the flavors coming, or the aroma coming out of this kitchen right now is really nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we're going to let that saute for about five minutes and then I'll show you guys how I put the vegan chorizo in. So as you can see, the top sirloin is just sauteing beautifully and the aroma in here is amazing. Should we try a little piece to see how it's, how it's tasting? Looking delicious. Oh wow. Wow, that's good. Need more salt or that's good? I think it's great. Okay. Perfect. Whatever that like sauce that you put on there, I think that added so much flavor. And then uh, if, when sauce. we put it with the uh, guacamole, then it will be different. Oh yeah, and then when you oh. add that uh, jalapeno pepper on top. That's it. The ultimate taco part two. <laughs> So uh, my onions and my red pepper is almost done sauteing. I'm gonna leave it where it's a little bit crunchy, the red pepper. So now let's talk about the meat. Now what I do is I just push it all to the side here, as far as I can. And again, we're gonna be making a little bit uh, bigger portions today because we're gonna have some friends come over and try these amazing tacos. And let's talk about the meat here. Now it's very soft again, cause it's vegan meat and it's actually so delicious. Like you don't even need to be vegan vegetarian to have this. It's really good. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil on this side. That's where I'm gonna be placing the vegan sausages in. So one, two, three, four. I'm gonna put a few more. And one more. Good, so I'm gonna add a little bit more oil here. And what I like to do is kind of just flip them now. Yes, I flip it with my hands. <laughs> They're very soft. It also has the, the skin on the outside. Perfect, so I just flipped it after 30 seconds. From here, I just put a little line here and this is only because I don't like to eat that casing. Um, for no reason, I mean, it, it tastes fine, but just don't really like it. So when I break it, you can start to see that it comes off easy. Um, yeah, it just kind of pulls off like that. You can keep it on though, guys, if you don't mind eating it. And then as you chop it up too, you can actually just take it out as you chop it up. And the more it cooks, the casing becomes easier. So these ones that I just put in, they're a little bit harder to peel right now because they're not cooked enough. Let me show you how I break it down now. So I just take uh, two utensils and see it's so easy to um, cut through. I just break it apart like that. Yeah. 
So along with our amazing tacos, Juan is gonna put together a guacamole. So here he has chopped up finely the onions, and then we have the avocados, looking nice. And tomato. Tomato, cilantro. Chile serrano. Yes. And that's it. And the guacamole will be done in Charlie. Yes. <laughs> and look at that cylinder. Freshly washed by me. <laughs> <laughs> and in our last ultimate taco video, we did a really good guacamole, right? Yeah. yeah. That was so good. <laughs> Can't wait to put this on top of all of these tacos and let's go look at how my tacos are doing. Okay guys, so you can see that I've just pushed down and broke up uh, the texture of the vegan chorizo. And you can make it thick, you can keep it as is, but um, I just want to break it down and now I'm going to mix it with the onions and red peppers. And again, the smell in here is incredible. I love that we have three different options here. Vegetarian, beef, or chicken. Okay, so last video we did the guacamole in the... Mocajete. Yes. This is the traditional, it was the part of this, the stone. Yeah. But we couldn't, we got it because we want to make a lot for our friends, we had to make it on a bigger bowl. Yes. It's going to stay, it tastes as good as the last time, but in different bowl. Yeah. yeah. So as you can see, the vegan chorizo is cooking up really nice. You have the oils coming out. And now I'm gonna show you how I spice it up. So first I'm gonna put some of this Worcestershire, shake it up. So this chorizo on its own, it does have flavor, um, but adding the Worcester, oh my goodness, it takes it to another level. You can put as much as you like or as little. We're good with that. And the mustard. This is actually, again, adds so much flavor. It's a brand new one. <laughs> so, you can, again, as much as you like. Let's start with that. So I like to put less is more, right? And the salt. A little bit of salt. Okay, let's mix it up. Mm, and I like how when you cook it down enough, um, the chorizo starts to get a little bit crispy because it's getting fried. So I'm just going to try a bit to see um, if I need to add a little bit more of anything. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. The salt is great. I'm gonna add a little bit more of this. You have to take in consideration that we're going to top the vegan taco with the guacamole and the secret sauces and the peppers, so you don't want it too overpowering. Just a little bit more of this, just a little. And 
I'll put the recipe in the description below. As far as the seasoning, you guys can play around with it. Oops. Okay. Let's give this a try. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Wow. Delicioso. Kind of want Juan to try this. Do you want to try this? Sure. <laughs> so Juan's never tried, I don't think you've tried vegan. Never. Blow on it. It's really hot. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> Is it me? Yeah, I know. It's not meat. <laughs> Doesn't that taste good? It's like meat. Not meat and it has some, Not uh, that meat at all. No. Yeah. Wow. I'm impressed. Yeah. <laughs> really good. And it has a little bit of spice in there too. Looking forward to try it. Yeah. So Juan has finished up putting all the ingredients into the guacamole. Like you can see, you have the avocado, cilantro, tomatoes, onions, and we put salt. I put salt. We need the serrano pepper. Oh yes, and let's not forget the serrano pepper that just takes it up another level. It is smelling super fresh and delicious. Can't wait to put it on the tacos. <laughs> you like it? Thank you. Guys, as you can see, my vegan chorizo is done. Um, I let it cook so it has a little bit of a crispiness to the outside of some of the, the chorizo. And everybody tried a little bit and it got approved by Chef Juan over here. And I'm going to turn it off. So guys, we're gonna try the amazing guacamole. Look how good that looks. Salute! Salute. <laughs> mm. Mm. Creamy. Mm -hmm. And crunchy with the onions. Oh, it's perfect. It's not overly crowded with too many things. The avocado shines. And that's the money shot. <laughs> so the tacos are done, the cheese is melted, and now it's time to put it all together. Juan, you are gonna try my vegan taco, and I'm gonna try, wait, which one goes on this one, the tinga? Tinga. Tinga. Right here. So here we have that beautiful marinated chicken, look at that. So soft. Do I spread it everywhere? Yeah, just make like a, like a bed. Oh, like a bed. A bed of beautiful chicken. And then put some there. Nice. Put a little bit more in this corner. Which one, meat? Yeah. Where? Everywhere? <laughs> That's a big taco. Yeah. That is a big taco. And then, yeah. Whoop! Next. What usually goes on that one? That's the vegan. And I'm gonna do up the vegan taco for Juan. That's the beef. Or, oh, that's the vegan. Yeah. yeah, the vegan taco. This is so delicious, guys. Again, I'm gonna leave the description, the recipe in the description below. And the beef. And the beef. We a little bit of a pan Oh, wow, that looks so good, guys. And this is on a crispy tostada, so a little bit different than the soft tortilla. And here we have the top sirloin. Look at those juices. Looking delicious. Okay. Guacamole. 
guacamole. Which one you wanna try first? I'm gonna try the tinga. Okay. So here we have the tinga. What about the, the chili or something? No? Oh. Oh yeah. Yeah, let's not forget the chili. <laughs> right there. there it is. This is the main event of the evening. Seriously though. Hey okay, guys. Cheers. <laughs> Salute. Uh, <there's> <laughs> <laughs> Do you like it? Mm -hmm. I love it. Okay, my turn. Mm. Oh my gosh. Wow, sauce is insane. Wow. Mm. Get ready to get just like everywhere. <laughs> that is next level. I love that it's on the crispy tortilla. Let's try this insane jalapeno pepper. This is soaked in Juan's secret sauce. Oh yeah, that's a killer. Mm -hmm. That is mm -hmm. so good. Oh my gosh. Wow, mm. incredible. And we haven't even got to the beef taco yet. And these are insanely good. I'm gonna try the beef taco. <laughs> How should I dress this up? Hmm? Sorry guys. So <laughs> <laughs> Guacamole, mm -hmm. pico de gallo, and any of these two sauces. Okay. Let's go full blown guacamole, panko de gallo. Yes. Yes. Look at that. Wow. Ultimate taco. Ultimate taco. <laughs> Don't forget the line. Perfect. <laughs> yes. Wow, it's heavy. It's solid. Mmm. 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 The top sirloin is cooked to perfection because of Juan's skills over there. This is so delicious. Our friends just arrived. We're gonna enjoy this amazing food. Like this video, subscribe, and on that note, just keep on. Keep dancing. <laughs>